What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because today is the day that we go and finally pick up our puppy. It is the first time my husband and I have ever had our own puppy, like even growing up as kids. And we are so, so thrilled to finally be able to go and get her. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything we got for our new puppy. So some of the stuff I've already looked at and honestly some of the other stuff I have left in packages because I wanted to wait and open it for this video. So I guess we'll start here, the first package. We got a dog bowl that we can take with us on walks. There's a little hook that we can add it on to our keys or under our belt loop. We got her a little paw cleaner. This is really nice. We're gonna sit actually right by the store where we're gonna let her in and out so we can clean her paws. Oh, this. This is for the car. So this is like one of those back seat like dog car things that covers up all the back seats so they can just like wander around and don't have to worry about like getting anything messed up. Instead of unfolding all of this, since you're not really gonna understand what it is anyway, I will just insert a picture of what it looks like. And I did get most of this stuff from Amazon. Some of the other stuff we got from Walmart. We got a few things from Tractor Supply. I can list everything that I can find down below for you guys if I have time to do so. I know I'm gonna be really busy with the new puppy, but I will try. Next, we'll go to this. Yes, this is her dog bed. I have never opened this, obviously, so I don't know if it fits, but hopefully it fits nicely in her crate because that's what I got it for. And then we got this bin from Walmart to like put all of our toys and stuff in. I wanted something cute that didn't like look like a toy bin, but just kind of blend it in with the rest of the home decor. So we got this little basket that's really deep and then there's this lid that we can put on top. I love it. I think it's super cute. In here we have some out advanced severe stain and odor remover and also has the enzyme cleaning powder. Then we also got a poop bag holder for all of her poop bags. I bought literally so many poop bags and this one alone has 15 in it as well. So I think we're probably good on poop bags for a while. And I did get the earth rated ones so that way they're biodegradable and they're friendly for the earth. Okay, oh, this is a whole box full of poop bags. I'll look on my Amazon orders and I'll be able to tell you exactly how many there are. Oh, it actually says one, thousand and eighty bags holy yeah like i said i think we're good for a really really long time on poop bags we also got the pet extra sticky lint roller because we have the regular ones but with pet hair i'm sure it's going to be harder to pick up then we got this purple flashlight to find urine if she has any accidents in the house we can see exactly where it is and make sure we can get all of it cleaned up we got her these puppy chew bones they are teething and soothing they have flavor all throughout them so hopefully she likes them for chicken flavored so we didn't get a ton of treats and toys just because we're not sure what exactly she's going to like so we at least try to get a variety so that way she's able to try a little bit of everything and then whatever she ends up liking we'll buy more of those things and then this is just is this broken <sighs> this is freaking broken Okay, well, I guess we have to take this back and get a new one, but this is the really cute basket that we got before I found out that it was broken. That's cool. So let's see, in here we got her a harness, an extra small harness, which I think this looks kind of big for being extra small, but I bought her a collar and a leash set, but her breeder said that we should get her a harness because it's easier for puppies whenever you first start walking them. We still haven't met her yet, so I'm not sure exactly how big she is, but just from pictures, I really hope that this fits. We got this, of course, in pink. We got a dog tie-out cable. So we already have the little screwy thing that goes into the ground, but we didn't have the cable. We bought her the big cable for like when she's an adult, so that way we don't have to go through several different cables. I know she's a puppy, but I mean, why would you buy several different cables when you can just buy the one that she's gonna need as an adult and be done with it? We got her a brush, two-sided brush. And then we got her some four-in-one shampoo and conditioner. It's lavender scented. I'm super excited about this. If you didn't know, I'm a dental hygienist, so I am like so excited 
to brush her teeth and I really hope that she lets me do it. Keep your fingers crossed for me. But this is her toothpaste and this is her toothbrush. I am literally so pumped to brush her teeth. Let's see what it smells like. It doesn't really smell like anything. Then we have, oh, this is so cute. I also got something from Etsy and a few things from Target. This is from Etsy. I can link the shop down below. This is her little dog tag. It's from Lily Reed Designs. It just says her name on the front and then it says her address on the back, which obviously I'm not gonna show you that. I bought the medium size and it looks kind of big, but I'm sure as she gets older, it's going to look fine. Then we have another pot cleaner. Did I buy two pot cleaners and not even realize it? Well, now she has two pot cleaners, so we can do two paws at once, I guess. I wish we would have got pink, but it's okay. I think my husband's a little pinked out with all the girl stuff and like me being obsessed with pink, so it's probably a good thing that we have a little bit of blue in our lives. Oh, we got her this little mitt, speaking of blue, to wash her. And then I almost thought this was another paw cleaner, but this is another little washing thing for her for bath time. Another washing thing for her. A couple people said to get one of these because she feels like you're just petting her. She doesn't really feel like she's like getting a bath so much. So hopefully that's helpful. And then... Oh, this is her leash and dog collar. I got her a small, so I can't imagine that it's gonna be too big, but I guess we'll see. So this is her collar. And then we got matching leash. So this is her leash. She's probably gonna be on a lot in the house at first. That's the plan. We've been watching puppy training videos by Zach George, literally so many of them. I'll link his channel down below. They've been really, really helpful. And then we've got her this. These are teething rubber toys that you can put treats in. So you're supposed to like stuff it full of treats. So that way she has to like gnaw on it to get the treats out. I'm supposed to put like treats in these little teeth. So hopefully she likes this. I was told by a veterinarian that I know that she's not supposed to have rope toys. So I'm not a huge fan that this has a rope on it, but we're just not going to play tug of war with her because I guess they're not supposed to know how to play tug of war. That's how they hurt themselves, their jaws and break their teeth. Obviously I don't want her to break her teeth. We have some bitter apple spray. We read online that bitter apple spray is supposed to help with the biting or like stop them from chewing on things that you don't want them to chew on. So hopefully this is helpful, but this is the bitter apple spray. We got her a smart bell for potty training. I am obsessed with Aspen Ovard and she bell trained her dog Luma. So I wanted to bell train our dog as well. Devin found this online. We thought it looked pretty cool. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully it works pretty good. Okay, so in here, this is her dog bowl. My sister-in-law just got a puppy as well a month ago and she got this dog bowl and she really likes it. So I decided to get one as well. So they're in this like non-slip mat where it comes up over top of it so that way she can't spill the bowls. There's a little lip around it so that way if she like drops food around it, it stays in the same area. So hopefully it works as well for me as it does for her. But you know, of course I had to get it in pink and I think it's really cute and it's actually really soft. Then we got a couple things from Target. From Target, we got her this one toy, one with a squeaker. Crunchy stuff in it. Maybe she likes the pizza, maybe she doesn't like the pizza. I guess we will find out. And then we got her this rubber ball. And then I did get her a pink rope toy, which I'm going to end up returning since she's not supposed to have this. We got her some training treats. These are tender beef training treats. So I'm sure we're gonna go through a lot of these. And then these are tasty chicken training treats. Again, we wanna get a little bit of variety because I don't know what she's going to like. And then we got her these dentist sticks, got these little chews. And then we got her some milk bone dog treats. And this one has a variety pack of peanut butter. So it has peanut butter, bacon and peanut butter, and peanut butter and honey flavored. So there's three different 
ones. And the last thing I got from Target are these balloons. And these are just like three different shades of pink and they have little gold crowns on them. So hopefully if I can find someone that can do helium for me, I'm going to put these in this box. And we're gonna have like a little gender reveal for her because no one knows that we're getting her except for a really close family. And then on top of that for her reveal, I also got her this banner, which I guess you can't really tell what it is, but it says it's a girl on it. So I gotta get this blown up and ready to go. I have this little baby's first hand print, which I'm going to use for her paw print. So we can do her paw and remember how little her paw was when we first got her. And I have this pink wrapping paper that I'm going to use to wrap up this Amazon box and use this for a little reveal. We got her her puppy food. So I got her the exact same puppy food that she has at her breeders right now. And then we also got her a carrying crate, which I'm not sure how long she's going to be able to fit into this, but I wanted to get the small one since she's going to be really small right now. So I got the extra small, and I'm sure I'm going to have to trade it in and get a bigger one pretty soon. But for right now, this one should be good for her. And there are a few more things that I got for her as well, which I will show you in just a second. So another thing we got for our puppy is this rug. We wanted to get a nice runner to go along this sliding glass door because this is where we're going to be taking her outside all the time. So we wanted something to be able to not only clean our feet off, but also clean her feet off here as well. And I wanted to get gray to match our walls. And then another thing we got our puppy is her own stocking. My husband and I haven't gotten new stockings in like seven, eight years, so we decided that we had to get new stockings because our old stockings wouldn't have a match for our puppy. And then we also got her a new gate. So I wanted like a little bit of a different kind of gate than like the traditional gates that you see because I wanted it to go in this area specifically. So it has this little door on it where we can come in and out of. So we usually come in from the garage and then we would come straight over here, open up the gate and then be able to come into the living room. I also got another memory card so that I can take a lot of videos of her without having to worry about the memory card being full. The last thing that we got her was her crate. So we did get her the extra large crate because I wanted to get her the big one so that way we don't have to worry about buying another one as she gets bigger. So we just went with the extra large one that has the divider in it. So that way she won't be able to use the back half. She'll only be able to use the front half right now. And then the only other thing that we got for our puppy was some pet Febreze. So one thing that my husband pointed out to me that I didn't even realize about with this gate is that yes, it fits perfect here and like we can move it around too and like make it smaller, like make her a little square or whatever, but she could easily just hop up on the couch and then just hop down the other side of the fence to get out. So hopefully she doesn't learn that for a long time, otherwise I'm going to have to set it somewhere else. So that is everything that we got for our puppy. Like I said, we're so excited to go get her. We're literally under four hours from getting her. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul on everything that we got for our first puppy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to be making a ton of videos about our puppy. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of those videos. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.